Hi, I'm Nick Sawyers and I'm an artist. <laughs> when I knew that I was coming out here and I kind of had to come up with uh, stuff to paint, this was kind of a no-brainer, doing one for Dave and, uh, you know, being in Woodward painting. So um, I guess it kind of just worked out that way. And, uh, you know, being on this cabin too, the BMX cabin, also facing the sunset with the sun in the background, everything kind of worked out. <laughs> I guess, I don't know, my style is kind of all over the place. I like to try new stuff all the time. I like to, uh, I like to paint, draw, illustrate, computers, you know, markers, paint, you know, it's kind of across the board. I like, I like a challenge. I try not to limit myself or my skill set, and it's always fun just kind of exploring and learning new things. You want to ride or what? <laughs> <laughs> I felt like, you know, since Dave passed, this really needed to be part of Woodward. You know, out of all the artwork here, I feel like this is one that definitely kind of needed to happen. I can't remember what year it was. I think it was like, I was, I think an eighth grader going on ninth grade and I stayed in this cabin, cabin 23. So uh, it's kind of, kind of cool that I get to come back this many years later and paint a picture on it and have it be Dave of all people, you know, huge, huge influence at that time. Yeah, like the hills. So I kind of, uh, as I was painting this wall, I kind of quickly realized that the, probably the best way to frame it was like you're kind of looking through the cabin, through the sunset, because that's the way the sun sets on that side of the cabin. So just having that, and then we have like kind of just the Pennsylvania Hills back down there, you know, to match the background. I think, I think they responded to, you know, the actual picture, but you know, once Dave was on it, it meant something else entirely. So it was kind of cool to see that transformation. The Vans Pro Cup qualifiers this week, and uh, so it was kind of a good week to get it done. And all the pros are kind of in town seeing it, and I've had a lot of positive feedback from everybody. So I think as soon as you put Dave on it, you know, everybody knew it was him right away just because of the Indian air, you know. And that's just the, uh, you know, I, I did a lot of research on which, which photo or whatever to use, but it was pretty funny because they're all just Dave Mira Indian airs and everybody knew it immediately just the way he does it. So I thought as soon as that was on there, it really engaged people to know what it was, you know, even, even without the, his name or the letters or anything on it. Just kind of leaving it up to me was pretty cool. You know, I'm not doing it for like a, a sports drink or like anything like that. You know, I really just wanted to do like some nice camp Woodward art while I was here. So um, I guess this is what we got and I think it's pretty fitting for this. I think like the progression of the piece and just having all the kids come by, you know, seeing, asking me questions about what I'm painting and it just kind of being the sunset for a day. And I read a lot of Dave Mira quotes and I kind of like this one just, uh, just for camp wise, you know, you know, kind of overcoming your fears and, you know, uh, trying something new, so. I think uh, I think it'd probably be inspiring to campers while they're here, and you know, be there to push themselves, and you know, this is a place to do it. So, yeah, yeah, I put my signature in the wall, in the corner on, in like brown. It's barely there, but I really felt that Dave's name was like the only name that really belonged on it. So, I tried to keep it as modest as I could. <laughs> Newer generation needs to know who he is, you know, and this is a perfect place for it. You know, there's a lot of a lot of stuff going on and there's there's kids coming up and they don't know who you know the people who paved the way are so yeah that's that's a great point